Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the latest news in regards to Supergirl and Melissa Benoist. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the Supergirl movie because we got news about the current stage that it's at. We also got news the other day that Teen Titans is getting a film in the DCU which is being written by the same writer, Anna Naguera, who actually wrote the Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow screenplay adapted from the Tom King comic book. So we talked about that in a video like two days ago, so click on the top right corner of the screen to watch that video if you missed it. But in today's video, we got an interesting interview to break down from Melissa Benoist talking about Supergirl and her being a reporter and comparing it to her new show that she is currently promoting because it's coming out very, very soon this month. And also we got to talk about that Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow news as mentioned at the start of the video. But for now, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, it was confirmed a while ago and I just didn't really get time to make a video about it. But David Zaslav has confirmed that the script for Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow is finished and it is described as really great and they are all looking forward to the project because now it's at a stage where, okay, the screenplay is done, that means they can actually move forward with production and I don't know when they're gonna start filming Supergirl Women Tomorrow, but they are significantly further ahead than most other DCU projects because they've got a screenplay, it's done, and they've already cast the main actor, that being Millie Alcott, she's going to appear in Superman first. But then she'll go on to reprise her role in Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. And so this means, you know, at some point in the near future, they're going to start actually developing this. And right now they're in pre-production, but we don't know when production would potentially start. But you can imagine behind the scenes, there is conversations about when they should start Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow filming. I would presume if I were to take like an educated guess, it would be in the next year. Now the next year means it could go all the way up until next March or the end of the year. Potentially they do a Superman and they start filming in March or maybe they start filming in February sometime in 2025. That would probably be my best bet, like I don't think they want to rush this in, but if you've seen the news of Superman filming at the same time as Peacemaker Season 2 this summer, you know that they realize they gotta get projects out, like they can't take forever with all of these projects and with the announcement of Teen Titans that adds another project and I think the more projects they have, the more they can put into production and the more they can get out there and you can start to actually build this universe because if they just film Superman, then they just film Peacemaker, Creature Commandos is done, that's three projects, but then what about the next three projects after that? And I would say the next three projects after that is definitely including Supergirl Woman Tomorrow, and it's also including Walla, and then potentially one other project that would be released in like 2026. Because for now we know that Superman is premiering in the summer of 2025, and then the Batman has vacated its spot in 2025, so that opens up a spot where I believe we're going to get you know, Creature Commandos is coming out at the end of 2024, so that's this year, and then you'll get another one in 2025, which will be Peacemaker Season 2. But then right now, nothing is being filmed for the next year after that, and I think that's where Supergirl comes in. So it's great to hear that the Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow screenplay is officially finished, and I think that just coincides with the announcement of her writing Teen Titans, that being Anna Naguera, the writer of Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. So what do you guys think about this? Are you excited? Like, personally, Hearing the screenplay is done, that means it's coming soon, guys. Like, it's not going to be such a long time until we see the Supergirl film, and I really can't wait. Obviously, we're going to get a first glimpse in Superman of Supergirl, and then we'll move on and get to know the character more in her own solo film. But for now, let's move on to our second main topic. So, we got a couple of interviews to break down, one from EW, one from TV Line. Let's do the TV Line interview first, because the title of the article is Melissa Benoist compares Supergirl's Kara and the girls on the bus reporter, shares which one she'd rather want to interview her. So there you have it. This is the interview from TV Line that they recently did at a press kind of day with Melissa Benoist for the girls on the bus. As I said, that is coming out this month with multiple episodes. Two episodes already released. They released three days ago on March 14th. I actually haven't got around to watching it yet. 
but I'm going to go watch it. And so if you guys have any interest in me covering the show, I'll be sure to break it down. But they've been busy out doing promotions, so you would have seen a lot of stuff from Melissa Benoist. And as I said, I want to cover what Melissa is doing in her next projects. I will do the same for Grant, and I will do the same for anyone that I'm interested in. And she talks about Supergirl, so it's definitely on topic with what we were talking about previously. So Melissa Benoist plays a reporter in this new show that's on Max now. She plays Sadie McCarthy, who is a journalist at a big national newspaper. And basically, Melissa has a quote in this article, which I want to break down. They could not be more different. I think on Supergirl, it was her alter ego, talking about Cara Danvers here. It served a very different purpose in the context of that show. And I feel we only really skimmed the surface of journalism and what it looks like, according to Melissa. So I agree, like, I don't think with Kara, she actually was like a fully fledged journalist. Yes, she was supposed to be really good, but they never really got the time to go into the whole world of journalism like they do in this Girls on the Bus TV show with her reporter that Melissa is playing, Sadie. So yeah, I agree, like, it's a different type of reporter, it's a different type of character because it was her alter ego. After all, she didn't live and breathe the journalism world. So I think definitely the two characters are very different. And so they say, while both Kara and Sadie are similar in that they both care about finding the truth and fighting for what's right, the latter, that being Sadie, is a journalist with a capital J, Melissa says, and it is what she lives, eats, and breathes. It is her whole life, the journalist skin that I'm in, I dove in fully. So there you go. That is her opinion that Kara was just way less of like a journalist of a capital K as she puts it because she was just focusing on Supergirl. She was also focusing on her family life as Kara and, you know, her alter ego and her job, I guess her day job was just being a journalist at CatCo. But when asked whether she'd want her Supergirl or the Girls on the Bus persona to interview her, Benoist was quick to respond Kara and that's because Sadie is probably a tough interview Sadie would kind of get in there I feel like with Kara she would be much nicer and that's what we've seen from the trailers of the new show that her reporter is definitely a little bit crazy like a little bit intense and Kara was definitely the opposite of that but let's go over to the interview with EW so the title is Melissa Benoist and why the girls on the bus was the right show after Supergirl for her and so not all journalists wear capes, but for six years as Cara Danvers, aka Supergirl Melissa Benoist did. Cara was a reporter by day, always with her glasses on, of course, and the ultimate superhero by night. So when Supergirl ended in 2021, Benoist wasn't sure what might come next, at least until she took a walk in the park. So this is a quote from Melissa saying, I was kind of taking a break after I finished Supergirl and just getting my ducks in a row. I was walking my son to the park and I got a random phone call from executive producer Sarah Schechter, who also exec Supergirl, and also co-creator Julie Pleck, and they told me about the scope of the show and the character that they wanted to do. And so they pitched it to her, and what Melissa says is that this project has already been in the works for years, and Greg Belanti, who is also an executive producer on the show and worked with Melissa on Supergirl, obviously, and the Arrowverse, he is the architect behind it was the first to think of her for the role. Greg has always been such a champion of mine, Melissa says, and I guess he had said no one else can do this but Melissa, and so that's how she got the job. And she says, I'll be honest, Supergirl was the hardest job I've ever done to this point in my career. It was so challenging and wonderful in that regard. It took me places I didn't realize I could go, but I just felt like my next role had to be authentic to me, whatever it is next. So I was going to take my time to find whatever that was. And so after reading the book, she realized, okay, this is the role for me. And that's what she took. And so, yeah, I understand Supergirl being an extremely hard job. Like if you look at the hours, the actors and all the people in the show actually put into it, it's incredible. Like it's an insane amount of time because they work night shoots literally like two, three nights a week, or they did when it was Supergirl. Obviously some of the other shows have different schedules and they work as the main actor, you're on set the whole day, like some of the other actors, I guess, could come in for a few hours, then go home, but for her, no, she had to be in 
all the time and she was the lead so she was always needed so yeah that is understandable in regards to Supergirl being tough but you know I think that's just part of a good job you have to have the challenges but it's great to see Melissa move on so I'm really looking forward to watching this new show the reviews have come out they've been pretty decent it's been like relatively positive I would say some of the reviews I've read for the girls in the bus have definitely skewed that way and people said like it's really fun it's really entertaining and has a great sense of humor so yeah guys it's out on max right now you guys can check it out so for now this pretty much does it for this video but thank you guys so much for watching so if you enjoyed the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos but for now you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.